Hello, horrible people. Welcome to Death by Podcast, the world's greatest horror movie podcast in existence. And if this show isn't an example of that, I don't know what is. Tonight's tonight's episode is this is premium. I am your host, Adam. That is your other host, Kevin. And on tonight's show, we watched 1997's Jack Frost, the horror extravaganza that Kevin picked for, for the letter J. <laughs> Kevin, how are you doing today? I'm doing doing well. Did you have you a good know. Did you have a good week? Did you have a horrible week? No, I, 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 I had a, I had a good week. I watched yeah. you know Jack Frost a few times. And, are you kidding yeah. me? You watched it a few times? No, well, I watched I watched it once straight, <laughs> and I watched it with the commentary, and I watched every bonus feature on the Blu-ray. Unbelievable! You own the Blu-ray? Uh, I I went and picked it up. They have like really? a yeah. All right, put, cool. I'm I'm excited to uh <laughs> I almost anyway, I'll save it. <laughs> Before we get into that, what do we, let's see. You said there's no news, no horror news, yeah. And not really, no. That Rob I, Zombie so. didn't do anything this week. I mean, he made tweeted a lot. He had like six tweets, but none of them were anything. I mean, oh yeah. so Rob, just just to reiterate, I know every I got a lot of messages of worried people, but Kevin's back on Twitter official just <laughs> Just Am so I? You know. So what? What was what was Rob Zombie tweeting? I don't know what he's tweeting. I'm on Instagram. He's uh. He said tweeting. All right. What is he? Did, I, did I? Yeah. Oh, I meant. That's I why meant I said Instagram. that. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what he's tweeting. I don't follow right. him on All Twitter. Right. Kevin's gramming. He's gramming. What's on the gram? Not see. It, it's a. It's a lot of nothing. I mean, like his Halloween movies on Netflix. He tweeted about that. Which oh it, Halloween Halloween. Yeah. Um. Billy Eilish wore like a, a white zombie shirt at a concert. Was, like, was no, it a white zombie like the original movie? The no, movie? I don't even know if it's white zombie. It it just says zombie get high, but I, I assume it has something to do with Rob Zombie because he posted Weird. it. Um, of course, he would think that anything that has zombie on it is well. It looks like a it, I, it looks like a white zombie shirt, so maybe it's I don't know. Um, and then it's another picture that from ninety five that. It, it's just a picture of him yeah and then another picture of him from 2010 now it's it's very important that we note who he's posing with because last week we made the the mistake when he posed he posted a picture of him with eddie money and we were like at first you were like oh eddie money died and then you read and you're like oh phew no he's not posting that because he died but Eddie Money died like two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and we were like, oh, phew, Eddie Money's not dead. He's still alive. He's not. He's dead. He's rest <laughs> in peace. Sorry about that, Eddie Money. <laughs> yeah. Well, the one picture he's by himself, and the other picture, it's with his band. Okay. Who is his band? I've never thought about that. Are they a well, bunch of just monster looking people? It's, yeah, it's like three guys wearing makeup. And it says from 2010, and it says Joey Jordanson was our drummer during that time. And that's it. That's the whole thing. What is this guy? Needs it, to... I, it, it was just a boring. Yeah. Like usually I'm, I'm entertained by his, you know, feed, but yeah. Yeah. Well, how many but, followers does he have on Instagram? I'm curious. Uh, 2.3 million. Are you kidding me? No. I mean, yeah. it's pretty, you know, Rob Zombie, man. Where's the, I mean, rest I love Rob Zombie, like, you know, I guess. I don't know. I don't know why. I mean, he, Nothing against him personally. I just I just think he makes cool, you know cool stuff. I like you know I like I've liked his music. I've liked his movies. I've liked uh, you know his cartoons. So I I just what yeah, cartoons I, don't, I, I haven't loved all of his music or all of his movies. But what cartoon? What cartoon are you talking about? Uh, he had a cartoon called uh, El Super Bisto. Um, of, course, of course, that's what it's called. And uh, he did it with a, I I think it was with John K. It, it looked like Ren Simpy, so I'm pretty sure John K. was involved. You said Ren and Stimpy. Um, yeah, the guy that okay. created Ren and Stimpy. Was it uh, like a Adult Swim or? I, it was straight DVD, I think. Okay. Um, but it was. I thought it was funny. I thought it was. I, I thought it was going to be a lot of Edge Lord fucking stupid shit. But it was. It was a lot better than I expected. Uh, okay. I bought it. I have it around here somewhere. All right. Fair enough. I don't know, man. I've never. <laughs> I, I just. He's a cool dude, but I don't like his his stuff it's just whatever how many times have i said that it's just yeah. creepy monsters his monsters gonna be good i'm gonna i'm gonna get a i'm gonna make a sign that just says monsters go home <laughs> and then stand outside the theater i wonder you think this is gonna get like an actual theatrical lease like yeah 
wide release. Yeah. Interesting. Well, I don't three from hell technically did, but did that come out during the pandemic or no, they came out before it was before. I don't think he's done anything, you know, three, pandemic. three, three from hell was it, it only played in theaters for like, Oh, like they did it like roadshow style where it was like a special screening. You had to go to a certain theater and it was like one screening. And then it was like on demand the next day. Yeah. And well, I don't know. It's going to be weird. I wonder if it's going to go straight to like Disney plus or something. <laughs> yeah. Right. <to> Disney plus <laughs> our famous segment. What'd you watch? Did you watch anything this week? I watched a couple of things. No, I didn't really. I mean, I finished Ozark <laughs> and um, you're always watching Ozark. I don't know. Why. Well, now I'm not. I finished it. All right. Um, a lot of South Park, a lot of, uh, oh, I don't stuff. know. How you, yeah. South Park's great. <laughs> uh, let's see. I watched like, I watched Roxanne a couple times. You, when was the last time you saw Roxanne? A Steve long time Martin. ago. Uh, probably, yeah, probably 10, 15 years ago. Is he one of your comedians? Steve Martin. I like. I, I, I respect Steve Martin. I like yeah. him. I mean, I don't, he's not one of my go-tos, but, yeah. uh, you know, I, I do like him, you know, I hadn't seen Roxanne in 25, 30 years. It's an awesome wonderful movie it really is it's funny that you brought that up there's a movie that's in theaters right now yeah with um, based on, yeah with uh peter dinklage peter dinklage based on the same story yeah cyrano it's called yeah. cyrano i think yeah or cyrano de Berger. i don't know what yeah uh and then also you and i talked about this off off thing but i watched part of the warriors again man mm-hmm. just such a great movie I'm i gonna, should i should watch that. Is that what's that on it was just on I have Sling and so it was on some channel. Okay. But I'm sure you could find it somewhere. I, I think I, I have it on DVD. Man, it is a I mean, you've seen it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's I've been a while. It. Yeah, it's it's one of those movies that I never thought I like I didn't see it until I was a few years ago for the first time. And then I after I watched it, I was like, Yeah, that was awesome. But I didn't realize that I'd revisit it so much. And it's just a solid movie, man. Do you know the name of the guy? You know, the guy who says Warriors come out and play. He's the he's the villain in Dreamscape. He's the villain in uh, The Crow. Fire it up, fire it up. No, I always forget his name, and he's awesome. He's just a great. He's the villain. He's the guy that in Commando. He's like, I kill you last. Remember? I said, I yeah. Kill you last I think dropped. we've talked about this guy actually. I think he's David, in I one of our. I feel like it's David. We could look it up right now, but we're not going to do that. We're trying to use our brains, folks, but they aren't working. So he's just awesome. Everything that he does. Uh, the whole cast is great. Anyway, uh, that's all, that's all I got. You got anything else before we get into this? This magnum no. opus. All right. No, no. So this week it's 1997's Jack Frost. I can't believe that you made me watch a a <laughs> movie that was recorded on video. Like, wasn't it? No, it was. It was on. It, it was. It shot feels like it was shot on video. Like that's funny because they on the commentary they talk about how oh thank God we shot this on film. Because they shot the second one on digital and they were like, God. they hated every second. Really? They hated yeah. every second of that one? Here. They hated every second of, of using, of, of shooting digital. The studio okay. made them shoot digital and they were like, we don't know how to use these cameras. Like, we don't. <laughs> it's because like, they're a we, bunch of dickheads, whoever made yeah, this. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> they, they, so Kevin had the letter J. That's why he picked uh, Jack Frost. And this is not to be confused with the Michael Keaton uh, magnum opus. This is the different one. Yeah, but this came out a year apart. Yeah, a year apart. A couple of things before we get into it. Kevin picked this because obviously we're not going to do Jaws and there wasn't anything else for Jay. But then tonight, before we started recording, I was like, I was like, man, let me just look. Jeepers Creepers. Kevin didn't want to do any of those. He nope. didn't want to do Jacob's Ladder. He didn't want to do that. I thought about Jacob's he Ladder. He didn't want to do Jason Goes to Hell. He didn't want to do Juwan, the original grudge. Just he wanted to do Jack Frost, so we watched Jack. Frost. I didn't want to do Jack Frost, but it was <laughs> it was the definitely the option I wanted out of all those. Yeah. Oh my god, this movie. The only other movie I would like to watch less than this movie is Queen of the Dam. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> this movie is wretched. It is so bad, and like it's the, stupid. The, like the that's... VHS box is one yeah. thing. That is not in the movie ever. Oh it's no, the movie! No, 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 it no. is so. It is the most false advertising for a horror movie I have ever seen in my life. Yeah, I've got. I actually have a lot of insight the poster on, on, or whatever. on the. Well, it was a ventricular cover. Yeah, I, I mean, this movie made a lot of money because it went straight to VHS. 
I mean, it was every video store in the country. Everybody remembers this box. Absolutely. You know? It was the snowman. That, that, it was I like think that pe- box is pretty much responsible for its success, you know? Which is crazy because all the snowman is, is this white, wet blanket throughout the yeah. whole thing. And it's like, it's insane. I mean, it's, it follows the trend of the last few movies we did where like they had one puppet. <laughs> and, and like to the point where at the end of the movie, when it's they not even him, really a puppet though. It's like, it's, I mean, it's funny. They only had one and they had to, at the very end, they were like, all right. Like they didn't shoot when they, like they're really, de- when they destroy the puppet and they blow them up they're yeah. that that's the real puppet. Like they Big didn't mistake. make a dummy puppet. They didn't make a mistake. They, they were just like, this, they, they didn't have any money. This movie really would have benefited from either stop motion or animation. <laughs> they had which, no money. They had nothing. It's weird. Let's talk about the cast really quick. It's got the always entertaining Shannon Elizabeth. Yeah. She will do anything for a dime. <laughs> I, I, I believe <laughs> it's kind of funny. She it's if we're going to talk about her. Um, so a couple of years after this, she did uh, American Pie and she kind of that was like really. Big, it, OK, yeah, that was her big break. And she and then big break. for a few years, she was a big deal. Not a big deal, but she was in real movies and she yeah. was in 13 Ghosts. Yep. And they talk about that she was on uh on the Tonight Show or like one of the late night shows. And she said, This is my first horror movie of 13 Ghosts. Really? And yeah. And they were like, What the fuck is that about? <laughs> and they, they got a call from her manager yeah. and said, You are not to mention her. You're not allowed to like bring her. You're not, don't put her on the box. Don't mention her in interviews about that movie, like about Jack Frost. Yeah, about Jack Frost. Okay. Like, don't use it. To, don't use her image to advertise it. Don't yeah. like all this stuff. Yeah, that's and, wild. So, so she just like perpetuated the lie. Yeah, I'm sure her manager was like, which is funny because she went on to do stupider movies than this. She, you know. uh, well, we're gonna, yeah, absolutely. I mean, the she has never done a good love actually, but she's in like, is she in that? She's in the last. 30 seconds of it like she, you see her for like 30 seconds maybe really yeah i i have no problem with her she seems like a nice like she, yeah, in Jan, Jan and bob she seems she seems like just a nice person sure absolutely she just has terrible choice of movies i don't even know <laughs> if she does movies she's probably like what is she like 50 years old now something i don't know yeah, maybe. who knows it's got a bunch of julians in it and then it's also got uh christopher alport do you know yeah. this guy not he, from anything besides this Oh yes, you do. He was in Invaders from Mars, dude. <laughs> he was. <laughs> he was. Uh, he was uh, Captain Curtis. So he was one of one of. Um, he wasn't Rinaldi. Rena- he was, not Rinaldi. He was not Rinaldi. So he was the other guy. He was the other. Yeah, the I mean, and not the. Um, J- was it James? How Aaron? James- How weird is that? James yeah, Karen. James Karen. Um, two movies in a row with. Uh, yeah, this guy. You want to hear something wild Kevin about this Bacon? guy? Died. At the age of sixty-five, or it might have been in an avalanche, he was killed what? by yeah, killed by snow. No shit. So this movie was cursed. Maybe, yeah. He got killed by Jack Frost. I mean, how yeah. crazy is that, man? That's bizarre. So the opening, I, there's a couple of things we we don't need to go through. Whatever, we can do it however we want. I mean, we uh, the opening is pretty. Weird. The opening is fucking weird, man. Oh it's wait, like, oh you mean like the the opening credits? The opening like, credits. Uh, I'm talking about so. I remember when, when I don't know what it was that came out, but it was like one of the first things that maybe it was seven, you know, there's like a, you remember the opening credits for seven mm-hmm. and they're all yeah. like gross and weird and yeah, they're playing Trent nine, it's like a nine inch nails. Video. Yeah. Like video. So I remember that was the first time that I really like, I mean, that was 95 or something. So I just graduated from high school and a buddy of mine, one of my best friends at the time was we were into directing like, the the styles and stuff like that and i remember seeing that and being like that was the first time i paid attention really to opening credits for the most part if i don't care whatever anymore but then now i'm watching this and i'm like i always thought that was stuff was creepy this takes the cake this is like creep (laughs) creep maximum because it's got this weird maniac narrating with like i guess his niece or daughter and she sounds like she sounds like a um a porn like a porn star mogwai is what she sounds like <laughs> and it's like <laughs> all right like a mogwai porn star is what i pictured this whole time 
and it just goes on and on and on. And it's so unnecessary. That's the director doing the uh, voiceover, by the way. Really? Like even the kid, the kid too? No, no, just the just the weirdo. Because the kid is Um, like definitely like some weird voice, something. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Uh. Yeah. And it was totally unnecessary. You don't need that. It was. It was weird. weird to include that. Yeah. You know? I guess it lays the story of, but it's not even this specific killer, is it? That they're. That I mean, yeah, about? he's saying like, "Oh, Jack Frost went and killed people," and like, but you don't have to establish it. We got it, man. Yeah. He he seems like a serial killer. He's he's being transported to the electric chair. Right. You know, to like he's no to a town called Snowman Town. It's is it is that yeah. what it's called? <laughs> yeah. The two. Laurel and Hardy driving the van, whoever that is, like mm-hmm. they say it, they, they pass the sign and they show the sign and go, Oh great. We're almost there to, to snowman. Town. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> it's ridiculous. And then that's like the opening scene. That car, the, that car crash is, is nuts. It's ridiculous. It's like, I mean, yeah, it, 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 it <laughs> they do like a roll, like a car crash and a roll. And I it's mean, like yeah, clearly like, just the camera, like, they play sound effects and then th- they jet, like throw a camera around and just like it, it's pretty it's pretty pretty low budget man <laughs> like I I knew it was low budget here another funny thing they did I don't know if you know there you know there's no real snow in this movie oh they wasn't they surprise went me. up to big they so they went <laughs> a bunch to of big blankets bear. yeah well they went up to Big Bear to shoot and they were like you know in January because because they wanted snow and they got up there and it was 85 degrees and they oh, just didn't so- have and they and they didn't have a snow machine or anything. So they just had these like blankets and like Jesus and like fake snow, like whatever. And they they kept getting dirty. So they kept having to, I mean, they had to use the same ones over yeah. and over again. They even had a lot of them. It was wild. There's I think uh, it's um the movie. You can see it in a, It's a Wonderful Life. You can see. And it also I think it's out of sight with George Clooney are the two movies that stick in my brain for really bad fake snow where they use soap, I believe, or something, some kind of foam. I've never noticed that with Out of Sight, and I've seen that a lot. Out of but... Sight, there's a scene where like a car drives away, like they're like a van that they're in. And as it drives away, you just see where the tires are separating, you know, going through this foam. And it's like, <laughs> uh, and It's a Wonderful Life, they do it too. But yeah, it works fine. I'm just surprised how, that can't cost anything. Just get a bunch of soap, like bubbles. Wow. <laughs> They, so uh, you said you watched this three times. Well, no, or, I watched. No, you watched it twice. I watched it twice, and I watched all the bonus stuff. Yeah, you were. And and you know what? I like it more now that I've like seen how it was made. And you had already seen it. I saw it a lot when it was new. Like this. So was, I, this, this is was, my first time, and I watched it once, and I'll never watch it again. This, this was like a default. Like ah, there's nothing to get. Like you'd go to the video store, and be like, "What are you gonna rent?" And I'd be like, <laughs> "Jack, ah, there's nothing here." Is your default. <laughs> It'd be like, eh, let's get Jack Frost again. I get that or Nightmare on Elm Street three. We're like the two, <laughs> like yeah. Nightmare on Elm Street three, yeah. You, but like this, man, it, it like get like I don't know some n- Revenge of the Nerds or I don't know. Oh yeah, well no, I owned that my own. Oh, okay. But like right. it was, yeah, this was one. It was like, all right, fuck it, we'll try one again. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't that I like. This was always like I never loved it, and I was never like, and that's the thing. That's what. I think I was telling, I think I was telling uh, Lint about it earlier, and she was like, "Is it dumb?" I'm like, "I." Or she, she said, do we, "She do you think he's gonna like it?" I just said, "Here's what I think." I said, "It's really dumb, but it's not dumb enough for me. Yeah. <laughs> like, I wish it were stupider." Yeah. Oh my god! And I'm like, "But I think it's gonna be too stupid for Adam." But it I is. wish it were stupider. I wish like, it was to stupider too, because it it really <laughs> isn't. It really doesn't go the whole way. Like you get you get the gags like with the hair dryers and stuff like that. And it's like, they don't really like, it's almost like you can tell they're embarrassed of it in, in a way. Like yeah, their intent, and- their intent wasn't to set out and make a like, Hey guys, let's make a silly movie. It was like, I don't know. They were trying to get away with some, something that you want, you want to hear the journey that this movie had to get journey <laughs> is pretty wild. Um, it yeah. started in like the eighties and Remy Harlan was like attached. What? Yeah. Well, and, in the eighties, he wasn't. Well, this is when he was. He's always like, been shitty, but he was on a roll, and it was like, yeah, Remy Harlan wants to do it, but it wasn't this script originally. It was like a guy who could turn into like elements, like it was like he could turn to water and fire yeah. and all that other stuff. 
and he went and made cover. So it was called Island. like Jack Elements. It, I don't know, but I think at one point it was called Jack Frost. I I personally have the theory that this script and the Michael Keaton Jack Frost <laughs> are spawned from the same like original script. Okay, like there was a, there was in fact Remy Harlan's girlfriend at the time who might have been Gina Davis. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's uh, some, I think so. At some point, I think yeah. The story is that she read she read the script and she was like, "This is the worst script I've ever read in my life." Good let's for make, her. Let's make a pirate movie instead. Yeah, and they went oh, and made uh, Cut Third Island, which people say is good. I've never seen, but like people I've never seen it either. By it, I'd watch it. Um, if she's in it. Yeah, I mean, it's supposed to be really good. It's it's more famous. I mean, it's it's one of those uh, huge. It I think it's one of the biggest box office like bombs of all time. It's that. Oh, wow. It's like a. What, Meaning that it, it costs a lot of money and yeah. made like zero return like that. I think it was intended as like a big summer blockbuster and it was just. Yeah, like, there's that one. And we weren't ready for pirates. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah, this mo- I think, honestly, if you tweak this movie a little bit, there's the, things I really didn't like about it. Um, this, but this then, movie. Sorry, go, go ahead. ahead. Yeah. No, 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 no. This movie is just it's sad. In the in the effort in the effort that they gave it because they didn't give it any effort and to hear you say that it had this journey where like somebody and I'm sure it changed hands and stuff like that yeah it did it changed script and all that somebody eventually like was like yeah I want to do I want to do this and I'm one whether it was the director or the writer or what and like but then they didn't put any effort into it like dude the snowman thing is literally like they went to Michael's. And got one of those big foam balls that you get at Christmas time, split it in half so it has a mouth, and just like somebody was just like, uh, 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 you know, like yeah, or or I guess close ups, it was a sock puppet, maybe. It was. It I was mean, just, yeah, the pop the puppet's very weak. It's weak, man. And it's, you can do. You don't need a massive budget for for a good, like. At the I mean, a lot of a lot of the stuff is weak. A lot of the I mean, most of the jokes are weak. Um, the jokes, the jokes are bad. You know what? It, you know what I feel like it suffered from. Well, and then once I found out how they did it, so what happened was the guy that did the voice of Jack Frost. Is it the same guy, guy, the serial killer at the beginning? Yeah. Okay. He's he's terrible. So he, rest yeah. in peace. Yeah. So he does it, and what I and then so they shot everything, and they didn't have like lines for the snowman, but they would just move his mouth and maybe have whatever was in the script, but he wasn't saying it on the set. And then they brought him in for a, for uh, ADR to, to just record line. And he had the movie playing in the booth and he would like, you know what I mean? Like, like do the lines with the movie, like Mrs. Doubtfire, like how they, how they animate, you know what I mean? How they, how he does the voice of Mrs. Doubtfire. What do you in mean? In the beginning of Mrs. Doubtfire. Is there a trick to Mrs. Doubtfire? No, it, it's always bugged me in Mrs. Doubtfire, even as a little kid in Mrs. Doubtfire. Woo! Hello. Uh, well, he's a voice actor. Like he does the voice of like a, like a cartoon mouse at Who the beginning of the movie. Ron Williams, that's his day job. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's right. And yeah, it, yeah. But like it always bugged me, even as a kid, watching Ms. Doubtfire, that like the way they're recording, the, the way they're 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 recording the voice is like he's watching the animated cartoon and then providing the voice. And like he won't like he, they want the whatever. He he won't say the lines they want him to, and then he winds up getting fired. Even as a kid, I was like, "That's not how. That's not how that works." The, you record the, you record the the voice first, and then you animate around it. Like that's what? insane. That's insane. Is that you? Do you really think that that's how they do it? That is how they do it. They they record the whole thing first, and then they animate. Yeah, that makes no sense. Because what if you? Because that means that somebody's got to listen to something while they're animating. Well, how do you think the voice, the, like the mouth, sync up? I feel like the I feel like it would be much easier to be watching the thing and be like, okay, this is happening. Like you watch the scene and then you go th- and then you watch it again while you're watching it the second time or third or whatever. No, that, like like that, doing cuts with a live action thing. You're you're voicing your voice almost like a ventriloquist or a puppet. Like you're voicing. No, you can't. Uh, the other way, where because you can't. Like, think about like, you know, like whatever, like Futurama or, or like a cartoon where they're like, what? Like you they're they're providing the voice first and then animating it to match whatever is going on. Like it's weird. That seems backwards. That's how they do it. All right. I mean, I don't, <laughs> it's not that I don't believe you. I, I just, but it's yeah, like, 
I feel like I should step in and revolutionize the voice acting industry. But anyway, so they, they well, they did it the way you want to do it on Jack Frost. And okay. to me, like all the Jack Frost stuff, especially like, I don't know, it, it suffers from like, like Melissa McCarthy ghost. Like, you know how she is in like Ghostbusters? Oh, here we go. We're like, put your seatbelts on, folks. <laughs> it's just anytime she's on screen, she can't not be saying Boist, something boisterous and crazy she yeah. just what she just can't like hey man like yeah she can't just look at the camera or like do anything she's got to sure. be like mah, 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 mah. <laughs> i can't i can't reach for a fucking telephone without going mah, 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 yeah. mah, mah, mah. like I, any second that we let the audience fucking that was like, our famous segment kevin and imper- kevin's impersonations she that was his she, melissa mccarthy that, that that's how she is that whole pretty thing. accurate you know you're right yeah she and it's like and I think that's what it, honestly, like all the jokes are just like what a 12 year old would yeah. would make the joke of, you know, like Wait, I could see my house Jack? from here. Yeah. Yeah. Ja- yeah. Jack Frost jokes. These jokes in this that one's specific. I mean, all through the movie. But that one I noticed, I was like, what is he saying? Why is he saying that? Whose house? <laughs> you know, like, is this a well, famous? It was such a like, hey, I'll, hey, what about this? OK, is we'll it a it famous in, joke like... that I've never heard? No, they're putting it's... it in there. It's like. It was ridiculous. and every even the puns are weak, like everything yeah. about it. Every, yeah, he's not good. This this <laughs> movie could if you if you if you could like recast this movie, like if you put Dick Miller in this movie in as pretty who? much. I th- at first I had as like, all right, this is good. Let's recast this movie. Why? Well, I, I already kind of did in my head. Like all you right. put you, I, at first I was like, oh, Dick Miller should play. You should play the cop, the main guy. I mean, he, yeah, ideally play the main guy. Uh, I, I had a uh, what the hell is it? Uh, well, the Wolf Creek. The what, what was that guy's name? Wolf the, Creek. Oh, you're no, talking about Stephen Lang? No, no. The Wolf. Uh, wolf of Wall Street. No, the Wolf movie we watched uh, recently. The Howling. The, no, the other one. Jesus uh, Christ. Snowy. The snowy. snowy uh, the Wolf of Snowy Hollow. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? Why, why am I drawing a blank on the? Well, you're gonna say his name, and nobody knows who that guy is. So no, 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 not that guy. The, the the older actor that's awesome in that movie. Oh, Robert Forster. Robert Jesus Ford, Christ. Jesus Christ. We just <laughs> lost our entire audience. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I know who Robert Forster is. Jesus. As who? I, I mean, you could cast him as the main cop if you wanted to. Okay. I mean, honestly. But why'd you say Dick Miller? Who's Dick Miller? Dick Miller. At first, I was like, he should play the. That, that dickhead who walks around with a bunch of yeah, salt. Yeah, he everywhere. can play that guy. He like can the play salt the, man. What is his the, deal? <laughs> He's he like can, constantly opening up people's doors and saying, I'm yeah. here with your salt. Get out of here. But you could have Dick Miller play anybody. You could have, like, yeah. honestly, that's his. You, he, he could play anybody in this movie. And, we and then you'd good. have, I, I say, um, Sam Kinison as Jack Frost. Yeah, that would be awesome. <laughs> I mean, yeah. That right? would be a, Dude, I, if Andrew Dice Clay, I'll take anybody. Nah, I mean, Andrew Dice Clay is like too. Uh, dude, Sam Kennison or even Bobcat. No, not Bobcat. He's not. You put. I mean, you put Andrew. I mean, he's not that's mean the thing. All these guys have like personalities. You put Andrew yeah. Dice Clay as like the father that like gets killed, like with the axe. Sure, that would work. You know, but speaking it's, of it, that scene, Jesus Christ, what is happening? Like, if you got this guy, like the father. All right, let me talk about this guy for a minute because he looks like. I was gonna say, should we talk about like the catalyst, like that happened, like why he? Yeah. Like, so his is? son, it doesn't matter. But the main cop's son <laughs> is being bullied by this absolute dickhead who deserves to die while he's building Jack Frost, the kid, the little kid. Jack. So Jack Frost is in this scene, I guess, as much as this thing was. It ends up Jack Frost pushes, manages to push a sled. Knock the kid gets knocked down. He pushes a sled. It cuts his head off. So the kid dies, and then the father. Is like he's not acting distraught. He's acting in, inconvenienced. <laughs> he's, he's pissed. It was he's pissed. Exactly, he's pissed. And it's like, but he's not distraught. And like he says some, and he's also the father of Shannon Elizabeth. Yeah. So it's this really weird like family, and then the mom is this like little mousy woman. And yeah, she's like an Edith. Yeah, from all in the family. And uh, sh- so they're they're back in the house after they're back in the house after. Uh, the kid dies and Shannon Elizabeth comes down and she's going to go out and party. And the dad goes, where, where do you think you're going dressed like a lady of the night? <laughs> Is that what he says? Yeah. <laughs> he calls her a lady of the night. 
Sorry, my dog was going bananas with the squeaky toy. So he goes outside after that, uh, all pissed off about his daughter and the kid and whatever. He sits down to smoke and then Jack Frost is right there and starts talking to him. But the guy's like, who's out there? Who's saying that? And he's like, yeah. Jack Frost is right in front of his face and he gets this ax out and like, yeah, but he doesn't he, he's not thinking of, that it's a snowman like he thinks that's just, that he's just a snowman. But he like, does this thing where he he circles around the snowman. He does like this three foot circle walks around him like, where are you? Are you there? Are you on the other side of the snowman? Where is this? It's like, yeah, it's just so bad. It's it's like it's not there's not a brain in the room with this thing. Sure. Yeah. I mean, you know, <laughs> with the with the, the making of it, I'm saying I want yeah. who's on the commentary. Uh, the director. There's a second commentary track that I didn't listen to, but it's it's uh the guys from Hack the Movies, so I didn't listen to it. They're they're We're, just like they're basically just fans of the movie. Fans. Yeah, but it's the writer director. Okay. Um, on the commentary. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, you know, he it's not it's not a good movie. It's. <laughs> It, I, just can't I, believe. I think it's just like whatever this is stupid fine you know yeah i never thought i'd watch it again but you know but then you watched it twice two more times you know it had potential at the beginning with like with after the car crash and the car crashes into like a chemical truck or whatever it, there's like the robocop scene like where the the acid or whatever sprays onto jack frost and that's how he turns into him but as it's like melting him so the the chemicals make him like one with the, with the snow. snow yeah there's that brief that, I know literal shot cartoon of shot of the of the blood cells like oh i thought you were gonna go yeah i forgot about that shot it's I like a literal about- it, like, it goes it's not even like 90s cgi you know where you do where they would do that a lot where it'd be like yeah we're gonna go on a microscopic level and it's gonna be this weird like yeah glossy it was the literal cartoon. like the opening of spider-man one yeah it was weird <laughs> But then there was, but there was potential with like the, the makeup, the gore makeup there. They didn't really use that anymore throughout the movie. I mean, nah, it's really were, not. I mean, it's more. Yeah, it's not that bloody or violent. I mean, when, when when he kills the when he kills that guy, his wife, you know, he, he, I, like I said, like everything is just kind of like he, you know, he chokes her with Christmas lights and then right. smashes her head into like a bunch of ornaments. It was kind of like, yeah, I mean, that's what you would do, I guess, if you're a snowman. You know what I mean? Like, it's everything's that's fine. So- like the the kills were fine, but like, look at look back in like the early early '80s when like the stuff that Tom Savini was doing. It doesn't take a lot of. They had zero budget on that stuff, man. It doesn't take a lot of money to do good like gags. Gags like make a movie like this worth watching, and I feel like they. Like the Christmas tree, like you're, the ones you're talking about, the Christmas tree lights. There's so much you could do with that. Just some lights and some bloody makeup and some some glass uh, ornaments or whatever. Yeah. I don't know. And I, I just feel like they kind of fell asleep on it. Yeah. I, I mean, it was, yeah, nothing on this is like top notch. Even well, I'll get into a scene where it was like, wow, they really they went all out it w- um, <laughs> for it. So, yeah, it's this, it's this, it's a small town sheriff. He's in over his head. You know, he's had three murders. They have, they also find a there's another murder. The old guy, the, these two guys, like feds. They never say what organization they're from. He's um, like, he's like, oh, you're the FBI. He's like, okay, yeah, sure, sure. whatever, whatever. Like if <laughs> if I'm the cop, I'm like, yeah, how about not sure, man? Like where? Yeah, how about exactly. I see a badge right now? <laughs> yeah. And the but dude, they, the nerd guy, the science man, is going yeah. through his stuff. Where have I seen him before? You haven't. Here's the thing with that guy. He looks like another guy that like is really? in a lot of this kind of stuff, and it's not the guy. Yeah, got, I know exactly who you're thinking of, and it's not him. He's got a line in, in um, I guess it's later on in the movie. Where oh he man, goes, he's he's got a scene that I was like blown away by. Which like, scene? Uh, it's later on in the movie. It's probably the same thing you're talking about. Well, I was talking about his dialogue where he goes. Uh, he, he's talking about it's later on, and he's like. The line is conventional weapons <laughs> will be useless against him. But he says, he, see, he says like a long A. It's like conventional weapons will not be of any use against him. And it's like, he's all like, like Shakespearean with it or something all, all of a sudden. But I swear I had seen him from something. I, I almost thought it was Watchmen, 
but maybe he, maybe you're right. He just looks like I think exactly he looks like, like another guy do. that is in. I'm I'm almost positive. But which scene are you no, talking about? Well, like okay, so the whole movie they're like running around and like trying to kill the snowman, and this guy doesn't want to. And we've right. had a lot of movies like this where there's a scientist who like doesn't want to, like it, it who's more concerned with um with with you know research or like you know the betterment of mankind whatever but like he has this he has this monologue where he goes do you understand like he's like listen here's the deal i developed this this stuff that was supposed to it we we developed it for this other purpose it crashed into the this truck he merged with the snow and now like he's like a bit like he's he like his consciousness has like moved on to like this this other form and they're like well how do we stop it whatever and he's like we don't stop it and he he says like do you understand what this means i i've just proved that the soul exists <laughs> yeah. this is like and it's like and he starts getting all like philosophical and i'm like what movie do you think you're in man yeah <laughs> like do you think this is altered state? if you'd have done altered this an hour state. ago i'd have been on board but like yeah. you're not in a real movie yeah like totally. you're in you're in a killer snowman movie yeah. dude <laughs> <laughs> like don't start talking about philosophy and like because that that's a that's a real question that like you would think like you sure. know what i mean in, in this situation but if that's had, not what, yeah that's if not what had, the people are here to do yeah totally <laughs> if they had started with that led off with that sort of idea then that would have been really cool but we didn't when we introduced when we're introduced to him we have no idea what he's a what he's trying to science what he's trying no, to do he's he's just yeah everything him and the scientists do man it's too bad you don't watch south park because the other <laughs> cop the agent there's a there's a recurring character he's like the he's a cop on the show he's exactly he looks like this guy he acts like this guy the be, the bearded like cop guy yeah. it the, yeah he's on south park like that it's crazy he wears his gun holster on the outside of his shirt all the time oh really <laughs> that's yeah awesome. that's awesome this uh, the science man also has another scene that it was actually the only time I laughed when when uh, Jack Frost comes back after they think that they've killed him. Oh, he, yeah. I guess he possesses this dude. The well, he hides man. he hides in because he can transform into a liquid. Yeah, so he hides yeah. inside this guy and he's making after he's killed this guy he's like walking out of the like the rec center. Right, but he's got the big bulge in his neck. Like he's hiding in this guy's neck and then he barfs and it's one of those barfs that's like from the side so you know there's yeah. a tube right here at the, <laughs> the yeah. mouth and like for a brief second i actually laughed and then it just kept going to the point where they ran out of liquid and it turns into a spray and then it's yeah. and then it's not funny like if they had kept the the stream going a little longer it would have been a pretty pretty <laughs> hilarious scene um i think that was the that was the best scene in the movie probably the barf scene yeah i mean yeah the fbi guy I don't know, man. Like he just we, the whole time I couldn't get a. I don't know. I I didn't love those two. The I mean the one guy's a jerk the whole time, you know. Right. They weren't like, in that much. They only showed up like kind of midway. I mean, peppered throughout the the beginning, and then show up, and then they're kind of like they're controlling this, trying to control the scene. I did really like the um, it's like the little red building, town hall building that they used that they kept going yeah, back they, to with all the snowmen on the outside. Yeah, that was like a rec center. It was like right. an abandoned rec center in this town. And there's that That's scene it. where the salt guy who keeps going through opening doors, people's houses, <clears throat> like trespassing in people's houses with salt. And he sees the woman who who gets um, strung up with the lights. And so he's like, he's running away and he goes to the rec center where all the snowmen are and he starts destroying the snowman. And well, he man- sees Jack Frost too. Like, right. that's uh, like, he sees right. this you know and it snowman. freaks him out so he goes he runs away and then he sees a bunch of sees and he's so he's smashing all the snowman and then the cop comes out like the cops all come out and they like the dude like the main cop like fucking tackles this old man who's just all he's doing is hitting the heads off a of snowman it's not like he's assaulting anyone and he yeah. like tackles this dude like super hard I'm like ease up man like he's, it's just snowman well then yeah and he gets knocked out by the by a super cop right like it's just right like that was unnecessary, you know. Yeah, and then like they're all like, "Yo, we got to tell Jill, who's uh, Shan Elizabeth." Yeah. So this is the this is the this, this is, is the most famous you, scene in the movie. This is why you watch this movie. Is this scene? Well, first of all, it, it doesn't make any sense that she's at. The first, it, it doesn't make any sense that she wants to like 
bone in the sheriff's house because one <laughs> it's like well that's weird like to want to do but secondly like she doesn't know her family's been murdered and right. the town's in lockdown because her family's been murdered right but she sees like so she they're they're hiding in like the woods near the sheriff's house and then he leaves or his wife leaves and then she's like they go and do that and it's like wait how do you know he's not coming right back? Like, how, you, like you know, the town's in lockdown, but you don't know why it's on lockdown right. because it, it's your family. that has been murdered, but whatever. Anyway, so they go in. Yeah. And- so she, her and her boyfriend are in this house and then she goes to take a bath. This was, this is just a really bizarre uh, snowman rape scene. So it's so, like, yeah, she's in the bathtub taking a bath. And then all of a sudden the carrot floats up. Like she took a shit and it, and it was just a solid carrot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which is, that was my first thought, man. I remember when I was a kid, I was like spending the night at my cousin's house and really young. We were like five years old or something. And it was like my aunt's like bath time. My cousin gets in the bathtub first and he takes a shit in it. <laughs> it's just like, it's just like fl- floating there. I was like, dude, what the fuck is this? Like, what do you, what kind of, like caveman are you or monkey it's like it was bizarre man i was only five and i knew how bizarre it was so when i see this my first thought is oh she just shit out of care well okay so this scene there's a lot then she gets raped by a snowman dude yeah so here's foul. the thing when i first read the explanation of like the director i guess in some other interview had said that it wasn't intended to be like a rape scene uh-huh. and that okay the the voice actor like they they they, the voice actor basically like did those lines after the fact and like like they're like well was it good for you and whatever else and and uh, whatever and then they were like well whatever and i i read that i'm like that's bullshit yeah like you knew what that was yeah but then after hearing the commentary i totally believe him because he lays out yeah because he lays out exactly this is where most of the budget sounds like it went to because everywhere else is the a real location. Scene. Well, so here's what they had to do. They built a set for the bathroom. Okay. Uh-huh. Like a real like set with, you know, the tub and everything. And then they built another set. It was basically 12 feet up in the air on top of a scissor lift. Because you remember when the, when the um, snowman, like, cause he's in the tub, he's, he's, he's water. And then he right. like forms into a snowman. Yeah. Yeah, he was underneath, like he was on, like underneath in a scissor lift, and like stood up. Okay, so that's how they got that effect. Okay, and 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 they like there's they, a they hole had, in the bottom of the bathtub. They, they, yeah, like there's a hole in the bottom of the bathtub. Okay, and he's whatever. And then they and then and then after like he got up there, they put a track down and sat him on the track and had that go on. Okay, so she was really naked just during this whole thing, and they and the and the scissor, scissor and the story that he's telling. It sounds like when Steven Spielberg talks about Jaws because the scissor lift didn't work. So like they, they kept like having to get the shot and it kept fucking up. And they were doing it for hours and hours and hours and hours and just trying to get the fucking balloon effect to work or like this or whatever. And then at one point, like the first time, like he went in like and like to smash her up against the wall, yeah. the carrot like poked uh, Shannon and Elizabeth in the eye. Jeez. And he was like, fuck. And they had been shooting for a few hours everybody was tired she's naked every she's wet like it, it was just like fuck it <laughs> just lose the carrot just lose the carrot and they got rid of the carrot yeah and then when they were editing it they were like oh shit it looks like the carrots is dick yeah. like like Absolutely. It, it, while you're watching you're like where's the carrot oh exactly <laughs> <laughs> well i mean that aside it just looks like he's got her up against the wall and yeah. he's raping her. Like exactly. It's, it's really fucked up. And yeah, it's really bad. And, and my thing is like, is it so stupid that it's not problematic? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, it's it like, sounds it's, like the, it sounds like the dude, who, the voice actor or the actor who played Jack Frost was kind of hijacking this thing at points. Well, it, it, with the voice actor, I mean, he was in there with the director. Like they were both yeah. coming up with lines that, like, together okay and yeah like once that was like the scene according to them they were like i mean once we knew what it looked like yeah. we just kind of leaned into it and you know whatever it is what it is it's yeah. funny it's, it's super stupid it's um, stupid but it's also like 
it goes on like it's i know I, i'm not trying to like put seriousness on this movie or the scene where it shouldn't be but this scene in particular not only does it like i mean it, it straight up is like she's being raped but it goes on like way too long and he's like banging her head against the wall and it's like what are you trying to accomplish with this like that's the thing like the editing I, I, in this I, movie is really really yeah, bad it's, it's weird. really bad and that that's why i kind of might buy the whole like because it is like he's slamming her into the wall and her head's bouncing off the wall. And maybe that's how he would rid- But then like, I mean, every other death is somewhat creative. You know what I mean? Like, why sure. not? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Especially they seem- when you've got, especially when you've got like, they started off nightmare in Elm street, Nancy in the bathtub, you know, like I, yeah. I saw the, or my cousin in the bathtub, whichever way, but like, <laughs> You know, and then the carrot. Okay, haha, she just shit out a carrot. I know that wasn't the intent, but that's how I saw it. And then you could do something cool with it there. I don't know what, but you could do something like with the frozen water, like because they kind of did that where yeah, she's laying and the water comes up and freezes her in the bathtub. Yeah, and you know you could do something along like like that. Even though that, I think they should have gone with an ice effect rather than snow. Cause that snow was way too fake looking. Like, yeah, it looked they, like, like, yeah, they had no looked money. Like, looked like they had a kid just shred up some paper and yeah. put it around her. It's like, come on, you got money to do. There's money. Well, you know what? Do the you know what's really lift thing bullshit. You know what's really funny is like the Mister X in this. Like, so before this scene, her boyfriend's like poking around in the kitchen. Yeah, and he goes oh, in yeah. the fridge. He goes in the fridge. And you see a bunch of ice in the fridge and a carrot. And you're yeah. like, oh, OK. He, and then he goes and drops it in his wine. He drops it in his in his wine. And you're like, oh, man, they're going to like swallow him. Yeah. And then he's going to like, Bust oh, this is neat. And then he just hears a noise outside. And then it's the best. <laughs> he opens the door and this giant hand just punches him in the face. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like this giant snow hand. And it's one of those things where he pokes out the window he's like, Who's there? And it's like he has to be standing right in front of. Him. Like, there's right. no way he didn't see. Right. Him. You know what I mean? Like, right. yeah, it's just it, like, it, like what you did all that setup for? Like, oh, he's in the fridge. He's in this, and then he just he's he's just outside. <laughs> and it wasn't. And it wasn't like coincidental either. Like, especially it's one thing like the carrot and the and the ice, which they chopped that ice for way too long in the yeah. freezer. But then when they went when he goes to the wine glass, like it's deliberately putting it oh yeah it's, it's deliberately it's saying purpose. yeah saying he's gonna swallow some of jack frost now and yeah it, and it doesn't go that way it's like what are you doing what is this yeah. like what are you doing and yeah, then it's uh and then he there's kills, another one like that later too and then he kills the the kid uh which was kind of a cool idea that didn't go anywhere at him where he shoots icicles did you catch when they show the other side of the door and the icicles poking through and it's bloody Mm-hmm. And then it pulls back through, but then they hold on that. And it's like moving around a little, almost like, I'm like, what is, what's yeah, happening? I noticed. I, like, what is I, I, I think that was weird. Yeah. I don't know if there was a point to it or what, but go ahead. Oh, one part that really drove me not. So I don't know, like the initial hairdryer scene where he's like, ah, he pulls out a hairdryer and is like trying to get him to where, where he's only got the one. Yeah. Um, and then you've got they basically try and blow him up in the police department. Like he comes by, he's he's whatever, he's in the police department, and uh they're in the basement in like the jail. And this scene drove me there's one part that drove. So he's chasing all these people, they get to like this window in there, and there's like a there's like a padlock on the window. Dude, this <laughs> and they and and it turns out the sheriff left the keys in the in the other door on the other side of the jail. So he's got to run over there and get them. Right. Yeah. But the other guy and they're like, and they just ran a bunch of gas. That's what they're doing. They, they ran a shitload of gas inside this jail because they want to blow up Jack Frost. Right. Um, so they get there and they're like, shit, and they're trying to get out of the whatever. And one of the guys has a gun and he hits the lock with his gun. Right. <laughs> then it's like ah, oh, i gotta go back and get my keys and like you've got a gun <laughs> like either shoot at, shoot out the windows or break the windows with, with your yeah gun. exactly it's not, it's not a fucking airplane window it's it's a it's a to be fair that somebody does say 
don't fire your gun or you'll light the whole, you'll blow up the whole place. Oh, that's okay. I there is that, that line, but that doesn't excuse the fact that there's five grown ass adults and, and a gun and one little master lock. And, and they, they can't figure out like how to bust the lock or break the window. Yeah. Get out of this. It's like, it's not like a fucking oceans 11 heist that they're trying to break into. It's a, it's a master lock. I think it was that they weren't allowed with with a glass window. I think it was, they weren't allowed to break the window because it was like, because they were renting this property and they want to replace the window that that would drove me nuts. And then it took like, it took the dude like a half hour to get to the keys, which were, (laughs) which were like invisible sight across the room. All of a sudden he's like, got like PTSD about picking up these keys. Oh my God. It was that, that scene drove me bonkers. Yeah. They, so they, they blow it. They end up blowing them up and this, this this was like more comedy that I just didn't get when they blow him up and they're all standing outside and he comes back and he reforms and he's like, wait, 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 before we get to that, do you remember the weird tag, like the weird like tagline when he goes to blow up the fire department or the the police department? No, it was like, so they're all out there. Chill out. No, it's that would make sense. (laughs) That would he goes same year, same year, Batman and Robin, 1997. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> but no, so the dude, it's the it's the shitty cop with the with the orange beard. Yeah. And he has the gun and he's gonna fire it into the police station to blow it up. And he goes, he like aims and he <laughs> goes, Somebody remember to put out the cat. And then he just what does that put mean? Out, <laughs> There's not even a cat in this movie. That's his like oh my god, dude. That's what I'm talking about. This movie, it's like it's I mean what? I can see your house from here. What what is that? What is this? Who's right? It reminded this? me of like supper time from uh <laughs> no dude, supper time is awesome. That was that was cool. It, it didn't time. make any sense, but that yeah. was cool. But like this was like wh- supper time. Why would awesome, you say that? Man. No, put it the cat out. Who's cat? I would have stopped who's cat? right there what? and been like, What cat? Where's the cat? Somebody have a cat? Like, what what are we talking about here? Why why is that line in the that feels like it was left over from a draft that didn't it like there's a lot of lines like that. Yeah, there are there. And right after that. So when they blow him up, he reforms like the thing or whatever. He's all sideways and whatever. And everybody yeah. turns their heads sideways to look at him. Everyone like it's like seven yeah. people in a row and they all go. Yeah. And, they I'm, all and, then, their head and I'm like, like a... it's before they, they do that before they show him. So I'm like, oh, they're going to flat. They're going to cut and turn and show you what they're looking at. And it's going to be really fucked up. And it's just a snowman with his head on the side. Yeah. And like a twig it's, coming it's out over here and i'm like up at all who this is just what like the, the comedy doesn't match the gags i think is what it is and you know what when there is comedy it's like they didn't know it like notice it like they, they don't ever even like linger on this like the whole way they discover that how to kill jack frost is they they find out that they have oh the kid they, puts yeah he, he gets he hit like with these oats of cereal so like he freeze. he gives the dad like this bag of oats in the morning, right? Okay, and it's the dad like is he goes to throw them away? He doesn't throw them this away. This confused me. Yeah, it, it's just a thing. Like it's like oh my my kid made that, but I'm not gonna eat it. Right. And then at one point, like I think he through some circumstance, Jack Frost gets like hit. No, with they're them. they're they're trapped in the police car. Trapped with in the Jack car, Frost. and yeah, the guy, and it burns him. Right. The guy just takes the bag. And throws it at Jack Frost to like distract him so they can escape. And yeah. it like explodes the bag of oats. Explo- the bag of oats that the kid, the son, gave to the yeah. dad to eat explodes on the dude on Jack Frost's face and starts to melt him. And the dad goes, What did you put in that bag with the oats? Yeah. And he goes, and the, the kid, kid goes, Antifreeze. Antifreeze. Because I didn't Why want did he to put- be cold. Well, he said, Because I didn't want to be oh. cold. And the kid's stupid. What? So- yeah, he thinks antifreeze is going to oh keep him warm. God. But they don't even bother to like linger on the fact that like, oh, he almost killed his dad. He almost killed his dad. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. I was trying to figure out why he put antifreeze in with some oats. I was like, what the fuck is this kid doing? Like, because he's 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 an idiot. Oh my gosh, dude. So yeah, so that melts his face, and that like, then they go, oh, antifreeze. That's how we'll kill him, and they fill up a truck with like. 
I mean, the, the, uh, the amount of times they have to kill Joe, it's like Lord of the Rings. It's like four different times they have to kill this fucking thing. It's ridiculous. And it barely dude. reaches the 90 minute like runtime, too. It, it, uh, I think it's one, I think it's of movie. I think there's an hour and 15 minutes or 20 minutes. They fill up this truck with like, they put a tarp and fill it up with in the back of the truck with antifreeze. Yeah. And then somehow, and then the dad goes and it lures them into the house and they fight. And, and Jack Frost uses his ice stick. I have it in my notes, ice dick, uh, and stabs because that's exactly what's happening. It's it's an icicle that comes out of the 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 snowman's dick, and it stabs the dad like in his dick, and so it's like this ice dick scene. There, <laughs> I don't remember that part, but whatever. That's what it's, that's what's going on right there. Go, it's ridiculous. And then and then all of a sudden he hears a honk or something, and yeah. Jack Frost like, what's that? And dad's like, it's backup. At, which is stupid because he's saying it's backup, like it's someone backing me up, but it's also yeah. the old guy backing up the truck. To, yeah. I don't know if that was intentional or what, but, and then we get that scene from nine, seven, six evil where like the dude, instead of just throwing him out the window, he decides to tackle him out the yeah, window and dive him out. the window. That was you actually know, a real, like that was, they really did that. That was one take, but they got like my, like a bunch of coverage of it. And they, perfectly land in the back of this truck so yeah. of antifreeze and this is where like this is where it gets really sad just really sad because the dad is in the back of the truck wrestling a blanket instead of <laughs> instead of like <laughs> and i could just imagine the director going all right thrash around a little more like yeah. push the blanket it looks like he's doing angry laundry in a river or something it's just yeah. like it's not great. man what is happening here it's just a bunch of food coloring and a and a white blanket that he's wrestling yeah <laughs> it's so bad and so it melts him it melts jack frost like officially and then but there's an arm that falls off and it wraps around the kid's face and it's like get the arm too so instead of the mom instead of like throw, taking the arm off and throwing it in she throws the whole kid <laughs> Into the yeah, antifreeze. Into the antifreeze. So the dad and the kid are are like splashing around in a bucket of antifreeze, <laughs> and they're like, he literally takes his kid like he's baptizing. And he does. Yeah, he he does like, in the antifreeze. It's like giant donut. It's like what? Who is making this? Why is nobody thinking that this is the worst thing they've ever made in their lives? <laughs> Everybody's really happy with it. That like, oh I mean, besides Channel Elizabeth, everybody else is like really pr- kind of proud of it oh it is the worst and the, and somehow the kid i mean when you're when you're in the ocean you get knocked down, down by a wave you swallow a gallon of of salt water okay yeah and somehow they make it out of this fine no antifreeze i don't know and uh and then they decide to bury these well yeah because he he, re- he regenerates like right so they are like okay they fill up a bunch of canisters of antifreeze and they bury like the 10 of them. Um, but then you see like it's bubbling and you hear this them talking. Where you get Jack Frost to the revenge of whatever Dick Ice Dick. The, the killer mutant snowman. Did you say snowman is in plural? No, man. I think oh, there okay. are multiple. I don't, I've never seen the second one. <sighs> man. But this... if you, you, you can pick it for Jay next time. Yeah, can I? Thanks. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this this movie I wanted I wrote it down. It has the worst, the absolute worst music that I have ever heard in a. <laughs> in a it's this '90s f- weird guitar funk, and then also just shitty '90s like garage metal, and it's just it's so bad, man. It's I didn't even notice there was any music in the movie. <laughs> the scene where like Shannon Elizabeth scene where at some point it's either the sex scene or the rape scene. It's like this weird funk is playing. I'm like, what it's, you know, it's, it's really, it's also really sad how hard they tried to rip to not rip off, but maybe rip off uh, Chucky's play or child's play. Like, yeah, it is. It's basically child's play. It's basically but child's doll, play. It's a snowman. And this guy, whoever he is, the guy who played Jack Frost is trying way too hard to suck Brad Dorff's dick. And it's yeah, like, yeah. it's like, man, just, just stop. Everybody just stop. I wish I had been on set and just been like halfway through. I'd have been like, all right, everyone just stop. <laughs> everybody go home. Just stop. Put the dry, wash the blanket. Let's get the blankets dry clean. Let's just, 
donate those to the homeless be done with it oh my god dude uh <laughs> just a mess of a fucking that movie. kind of almost did happen because the production company i don't know if it went out of business or i think it got sold like and like f- i think they had a bunch of movies in production and all of them except for this one got shut down because this one was the furthest along really yeah they were like wow. fuck it finish it and wow. it made a ton of money what do you mean, mean a ton of money like for its budget you mean no i mean it made a ton of money period like really it yeah, and the director talks about it. He's like, I don't know who the fuck made a lot of money off this movie, but someone made a shitload of money. So it wasn't him. It wasn't the director. He, he's like, and none of the actors get residuals. Like, everybody got fucked over. Wow. He's like, it was in every single blockbuster. There were at least five copies yeah. in every blockbuster. Dude, it I was in, that. I mean, it was at every video store in the country, and people rented the shit out of this movie. I mean, a it's lot of people cover. know this movie. They, yeah. That's where their budget went. Their budget went into the lenticular cover to the VHS. <laughs> the guy, the director talks about that cover. He's like, yeah, it's awesome. He's like, I don't know who did that second one, that that second, uh, that scary uh, Jack Frost, but it's so it's, it's such a it's so false. It's just so false. I'm so glad I didn't rent it back then because I would have been like, what the fuck? Like, where is this creature yeah. that's on the front? I wonder because the second one has him on the cover too. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if he's in the second one. What if the, you mean if Jack Frost is in it? Well, no. If if if, if he oh, looks the like creature that like all. that, you know, I bet it is. I bet if we Google imaged it, you'll see like images of. Ah, I don't want to spoil it. I'm gonna. I'll wait. You're gonna watch it eventually. I mean, you know. May the force be with if, you. If I get if, ne- if next time I get Jay. Yeah, <laughs> you son of a bitch! If you do that, <laughs> <laughs> it, it's oh, got to be God. better than this one. Oh my God. <laughs> Why would they do a sequel at all? We made the comment last week when I think when, when you picked the, this, I was excited because I hadn't seen it. And it was, yeah, I grew up or not grew up, but ever since it came out, I've looked at that cover and been like, ah. Oh. But we made the comment that like this was probably gonna be like a step below or like a like in between uh like leprechaun, like a step below leprechaun yeah. and like a step above something else. Whatever it was that we said it was a step above. <laughs> So I'm sorry. It, it, this is absolutely at the bottom. It's uh, <laughs> <laughs> the director said it's two big inspirations when he was writing it and making it um, before it turned into what it is oh, man. were uh, the abyss. Jesus and Christ. and uh, that's the other front. And uh, because of wait and what? Oh, what was the other one? The other, uh, uh, shocker. Shocker. He said the other one was shocker. Shocker. I could see. But the abyss, what? Because of dripping water, drippy wetness. What an idiot! I don't this remember. An idiot. But the, the other funny thing is, like, they have an interview with the with the cinematographer, yeah. with the DP, and even he's like, it, like, oh, I used a lot of the techniques I saw in like, <laughs> I don't know if he says the Godfather, but he says a lot of like, <laughs> <laughs> like really grandiose, and he says like, I know that's that, that's not what this is. There but, is you know. there are no techniques used in this movie. <laughs> Sorry, dude. There's some there's some nice shots. And there's no the only thing this has in common with the abyss is wetness. That there's water that is, in it. Is moisture. What an idiot. Like what? <laughs> the fact that Jack Frost can like melt and then reconstitute makes it the abyss. Get out of here. I, I don't know. Idiot. I like I, I, I didn't hate it. I mean, I've seen I worse fucking movies. Hate this movie. It's like <laughs> it's it's just a waste. Don't watch this movie if you're listening. That's my thing. Like I said, it's not, it's not. <laughs> It's not great. It's, you know, I wish it were worse, to be honest. If it were worse, you know, this movie could be worse, but with better gags or like, I don't know, like, I I feel like you you could tweak it and make it, like I said, you put Dick Miller in it. You (laughs) put Dick, I still don't, (laughs) you do a rewrite, you know, we put James Woods in it. Like, it's, get out of here. Let's be realistic. No, he, he would never do it. No. But uh, I mean, if we're doing dream casting, you know, I wonder if like, yeah, but when you do dream casting, you do someone that fits the bill. Dr- James Woods would just be like, he would just be like, what the fuck is this? What is the, what the fuck? He could play the snowman. He would. Oh, my God. And then, of course, it's it's he'd it's, be a better he would be better like for the cop for the for the whatever the redheaded cop. But then you're talking about like a Hollywood version of this, you know, like yeah. I, what's even originally stranger, they, they originally had a thirty million dollar budget. Like, what do you know what the budget was actually? Oh, it was like less than a million, but it was uh, five bucks. 
whatever the blankets yeah, cost. But it was, was back when, when Remy Harlan was going to do it. The, the weirder thing is that the next, the very next year, nobody told Michael Keaton that, hey, this movie you're about to do, last year they made a movie with the same name and it's a giant piece of shit. And so when people hear that you're in this one, they're going to they're gonna think that you're also in a giant piece of shit, which he kind of was. Like well, the that's Christmas- the other thing. The, the, the plot of both of them, I, that's why I think they started off as the same script. I think they're both like off like rewrites of of the of the same script because it's it's a similar thing it's just, yeah it is it's a similar concept but it's like jack frost with michael keaton this family christmas movie is like 10 times more scary than this i mean the idea like the, yeah it's yeah have like, you seen the poster for that movie where it's like um yeah keaton and the snowman sort of splitting apart like they're like merged together like some i don't think they've seen that one like kurt russell's the thing it's it's a crazy i'll post a picture of it it's it's the weirdest and keaton's all like his side of his face is all stretched it's like what what is yeah this? please send that to me ebert's review of the he didn't obviously didn't review this but he did review the uh michael keaton one and yeah. it's amazing what does he say it says uh Jack Frost is the kind of movie that makes you want to take the temperature, if not the pulse of the filmmakers. What possessed anyone to think this was a plausible idea for a movie? It's a bad film, yes, but that's not the real problem. Jack Frost could have been co-directed by Orson Welles and Steven Spielberg and still be unwatchable because of that damn snowman. The snowman gave me the creeps. Never have I disliked a movie. Never have I disliked a movie character more. (laughs) Because They say state-of-the-art special effects can create illusion of anything on screen and now we have proof it's possible for the gym <laughs> he goes on and on and on about how much he hates the snowman <laughs> because it was because when it moves it doesn't exactly glide it walks without feet like it's a creepy <laughs> like it's creeping out its torso there's anorexic there's anorexic tree limbs for arms which has been through 360 degrees when it's throwing snowballs there's a big wide mouth that, that, <laughs> That moves as if, <laughs> as, as, as if masticating gummy bears. Yeah. And it's this kid's dad. Oh my God. <laughs> he, he goes, um, this is like, that's just the first like paragraph. This is like, <laughs> there's like seven paragraphs. That, you could almost apply all of that to this movie with the exception <laughs> of like the, the word special effects, like interchange white blanket <laughs> i gotta i gotta read the rest of this go ahead. not making read the whole thing but he goes go ahead go ahead yeah he says, he says it makes yes. it worth listening to people who've says, made it this far he says yes little charlie has been without a father for a year since his dad michael keaton was killed on christmas day of course a year later charlie plays his father's magic harmonica <laughs> and his father turns up as the snowman Think about that. It is a standing by the snow. <laughs> snowman on Charlie's front lawn is a living, moving creature inhabited by the personality of his dead father. <laughs> uh, that was Ebert uh, or Cisco? This is Ebert. Man, what a gem. I miss that guy. <laughs> what, what, do you do? what do you ask a snowman inhabited by your dead father? After all, that has been dead for a year. What's it like on the other side? Is there a heaven? When will the NBA lockout end? Is Elvis really dead? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, have you ever met any angels? Because any good reporter could talk to that snowman for five minutes and come back with something. And he goes, but Charlie, the self-centered little movie child, is more concerned with that. It's great. <laughs> He, just, he chews this movie up. He's more concerned with how he can help. It's great. You got to read this. I'm not going to read this thing, but send it to me. I'll post it for people who want to. It's 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 it on one Patreon. of his best. It's one of his best. Uh, we've talked way too much about this movie. Let's. Um, yeah, we can wrap it up. That's fine. Yeah, I don't have much to say about it. Uh, thanks, though. Thanks, Kevin. I appreciate that, Jack. I would say, all in all, just um, don't waste your time. So next week. <laughs> I've got letter K. Oh uh, boy. All right. Yeah, so letter I, K. I'm I'm anxious to hear what letter K is. Yeah, letter K. So there's a there's a, and I'm being serious, there's a lot. Yeah. Last yeah, time, there is. Last time around we did Killer Clowns and that was great. Um did Killer Clowns ever get a sequel? It didn't, right? Nope. No. I was hoping that there would be one, but so I've got this I've got a short list and I need your help because I I think I know what I want, but I'm really torn. There's one movie called The Killer Eye from 1999. 
that is about an that I'm not gonna pick. So, but it was on the list, the short list. It's about this like dude who there's like a science experiment scientist, and he puts some eye drops in this guy's eye, and and it opens up like a dimension in the in the guy's eye, and this giant eye comes out of the guy's head and starts killing people. And it looked awesome, like the effects. It, it was garbage, but it looked great. It was all practical. That sounds awesome. Yeah. The killer eye. So we'll put that on the list. It's got a really cool poster too. Um, then there's also killer crocodile from like <laughs> 1980 or 81 or something early 86. I don't know. And okay. the crocodile man looked awesome. Like it actually looked pretty freaky and it was huge. And it was just one of those like creature, just a creature feature kind of movie. That's also, I'm not going to pick that, but it looked, it looked worth watching. So the three that I'm, that I'm torn between, I'm going to pick one that you haven't seen. One is killer party from 1986, which is just like eighties, almost like it looked like zombie high, only like what zombie high should have been. It looked like that. And it's got a really awesome, you've seen the cover. I'm sure you've seen the VHS cover, really awesome cover. So killer party, which would be something neither of us have seen and super 80s schlock the kindred you ever see the kindred nope so this one was more popular this actually had a theatrical release 1987 it's about like genetic experimentation and something to do i don't remember totally but something to do with genetic experimentation on this family like a kid or something and it turned into this creature that they refused to destroy it grew up like inside this house and it's just like this friendly, like John Carpenter creature thing. So there's that, the kindred. And then also the keep. Have you seen the keep? I have not seen the keep, but that's one that like. So the keep is awesome. Like it's an actual like movie <laughs> and it's Michael Mann, 1980 or 81. Tangerine Dream does the soundtrack. Scott Glenn, Ian McKellen. Scott Glenn, Ian McKellen. A bunch of people you'd recognize that that one dude. Uh, that other dude so those are my three and i'm kind of leaning towards either kindred or the keep um you got you have an opinion i would probably choose killer party but really <laughs> yeah because you know uh, that's the last one it I keeps seems were... a little heavy but the keep know. is heavy but it's it's got some it's a really good movie it's like an actual movie it's really good i felt like after jack frost we should like i wanted to go the other way you know and, sure but the kindred is also a serious movie not serious. It's, you know, it's not Jack Frost. <laughs> so let's do, uh, let's do killer party. I haven't you seen sure? it. Haven't, yeah. Neither of us have seen it. All right. It fits our bill a little better, uh, but those <laughs> other two, those other two are absolutely worth watching kindred and the keep sure uh, next time around. Maybe we'll pick one of those. So look for next week, episode uh, 44. We will do killer party. What is that? 1996, 1986 killer party. Yeah. 1986. 1986. All right, cool. Uh, what else? What else you got? Anything? What a mess. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I know. I, you know, like I enjoyed watching this one, but uh, yeah, I'm glad about, you yeah. did. I'm glad you did, Kevin. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I mean, it was honestly like it, to me, like it wasn't <laughs> so, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that good. It was just like, a, all right, whatever. Like I man. said, I'll say it again. The only other movie that I would rather watch less is Queen of the Dam. Oh, man, that's that's wild. To me, this was like an episode of Cheers. Like, yeah, they're not all great, but you know, they're oh not all God. they're not terrible. Like, you know? let me watch Idle Hands like 17 times before I watch this again. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, we need to finish up Chucky and do a Chucky show. Yeah. Um, that was one of the cool things uh that was on the movie news was I guess the Blu-rays coming out and they're uh, they're go I think they're putting it out in like a good guy's box. I still have of that the the new series the, yeah. that just finished up. Yeah, I'm I still sure, have yeah. I still have a couple episodes to finish before I finish it. I'm going to wrap it up soon. So I don't know how it ended. I wonder if it's going to get another season because I think I watched, it did. I've watched seven or some, some episodes and every one of them was great. So yeah, I've, I've so uh, good. Two people have told me about it, people that aren't even into this yeah. kind of stuff. Um, but I, you know, you know, the reason I, I haven't really done well, one, I, I got the wrong version, but also it's the same reason. Like I haven't watched Cobra Kai is well that one is my wife's fault because oh, okay. yeah she's never seen karate kid so Idiot. i was like let's go back and watch karate kid yeah yeah you know, and she's like i she's like i'll watch cobra kai but i have no interest in karate no you kid. cannot watch cobra kai without watching that's what i said kid. i'm like well That's, i'd like to can't. i haven't i haven't seen 
uh, and I, I want to watch all three. Oh, you yeah. mean uh, Karate Kid one, Karate Kid three, and and uh, Cobra Guy? No, I was gonna. I mean, I guess you. I would. I would. Jaden Smith as well. Jaden Smith, Karate Kid. No, te- I mean technically, there's five. If we we're gonna do that, there's. <laughs> remember the next Karate Kid with Hillary Swank? Oh my gosh, why? Cobra Guy will not mean anything to you without the background of the first movie. Anyway, but I, I wonder if Cobra if, if if Karate Kid's a good movie. Anyway, like right, it's not like a. Yeah, I've watched it. I, yeah, but you grew like up with it. it. You knew it. Yeah. All right, I've watched like, it recently. It holds up. I'm well, yeah, but that's through you already liked it. Like I'm saying, like brand new, never heard yeah. of Karate Kid before. Oh yeah, as as an adult, does you're still gonna up? enjoy it. I think. I think so. I mean, Pat Morita. Anyway, dude. yeah, Pat Morita. But yeah, he. Uh, piece. Yeah, but it's the same reason. Like Chucky, I've been meaning to like. There's like three Chucky movies I haven't seen. Like all the straight DVD stuff in the last couple of years. Uh, you don't absolutely need to watch those, but you will enjoy the series more if you know the last two movies not the mark okay. hamill movie but the the last two right. uh, chucky movies because there's characters in there that play a decent role in the series and you'd be like who are these people yeah the, well the last time I, the last one i saw was steed and i i don't even know if i finished it because i i hated it i hated it once they the jennifer tilly in the new series but when they introduced her character in the movies is when the movies fell apart in my opinion yeah i agree i mean like i like i i just rewatched bride I remember yeah. I saw Bride in the theater and was like, "This is, yeah, this." I that guy was so disappointed. I was just like, "This yeah. sucks." They, this is they're not taking this seriously. Yeah, <laughs> like they're not but taking then, this. But then she, you know. you know, like she, I'm pretty sure she's peppered out through the last two. It, it, the last two are just good movies. They're just they're solid entries in the Chucky thing, and then it all pays off in the series. So definitely, let's put that in the books for like the next in the next couple months. We'll do that. Yeah, um, yeah, we'll do it. So right. if you guys want to uh, find us, you can find us on Instagram at death by podcast. You can find us on Twitter at, Be- at death by podcast where I'm tweeting up a storm. Kevin's tweeting up a storm. You can support the show directly. <laughs> Check us out on patreoncom slash death by podcast, where you can find our second bonus mini podcast, boob tube TV. This week we did another episode of Simpsons Treehouse of horror episode five. And we talked about that. So that was pretty cool. We got stickers and all kinds of behind the scenes stuff on the Patreon. Next week, we are doing what do we decide for next week? Uh, Freddy's Nightmares. Yeah. An episode of Freddy's Nightmares. We don't know uh, which one yet on the Patreon. So look forward to that. I think that's it. I think that wraps it up. What a, what, a, what a gem. Can't wait to tell all the people I hate to watch this movie. That's only a good <laughs> uh, Until next week, I am your host, Adam. That is your other host, Kevin. It's Miller time, Kevin. You son of a bitch. Take it away. <laughs> Perfect. All right, folks. Uh, go get some icicles and carrots and have fun. We'll see you later. <laughs>